Gbagbo. It has nothing to do with your being deaf. You are stubborn. Okay. Okay. I'll do what I can. You're stubborn. What did you learn to sign? My freshman year in college. My roommate Abby was deaf, so I learned to sign so we could talk. She had a translator for class, but not for the door. Hmm. She used to say, my eyes are my ears. You can hear a bird sing, but I can hear him fly. Oh, well, whatever happened to her? She lives in Chicago. She's an architect with three kids. Hey, that phone number you got off Mendoza belongs to one Leo Stiles. He served federal time for forgery, specialized in ID documents like uh, driver's license, visas, passports. Carlos Corrego. I'm Titus Hall. Where's Luis? Luis is dead. He's dead? How did that happen? He tried to steal my money. Now he's dead. That's all you need to know. Given Luis's untimely death, perhaps we should postpone our business arrangement. No. I have to be out of this country in two days. The deal happens now. I want to see one of the weapons. Best the army has. Lightweight, accurate, and powerful enough to take down anything from a tank to a plane. Your people won't be disappointed. Now, where is the money? I was assigned to Beirut in 83. That made me nervous. Open up, Styles LAPD. Warrant to search these premises? I haven't done anything. Given your background, I find that hard to believe. Still, Mr. August is with the State Department. What do you know about Luis Mendoza? I don't know any Luis Mendoza. Come on, Styles. You have an unlisted number that was in Mendoza's wallet. Now, come on. Hey, what do we got here? I was doing some work for him. I work for lots of people. So? You know Mendoza's dead? He's dead? Yeah. What do you know about that? Nothing. Nothing. I swear. Take him down to the car and read him his rights. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can't just do this to me. Uh -huh. Looks like Mendoza ordered some passports. Different names, different countries, all with his picture, huh? Well, it looks like he was ducking somebody. Yeah, but why or who? Look, I think we ought to put a tail on Griego and his driver. On a trade minister? Sure, why not? You know, Sergeant Hunter, I have a growing appreciation of your instincts. Thank you so much. Disneyland? You're the one who wanted to get away from your home. You're the one who wanted to get away from your mother. I don't know why I brought you here in the first place. Meg, leave her alone. I'll get us the money. Oh. 
You gonna hook? Huh? You gonna put yourself through that? Fine. I'll do it. I'm sorry, Woody. It's okay, don't worry about it. The scar pulled up and this guy started talking to me and I... I just couldn't do it. Hey, it's okay. Look, this really isn't your thing. Maybe you should think about going home. You wouldn't even be here if Meg hadn't dragged you. That's not true. It was just as much my idea as it was hers. Come on, Danny. Meg's been on the streets most of her life. She's here because nobody wants her. Same for me. That's not true. I want you. What are you doing here? I just wanted to see if you were okay. Yeah, I'm great. Actually, I'm glad you're here, you know? I can kind of show you how easy it is. See, now the whole key to this thing is that you choose them, you don't let them choose you. There's a motel around the corner. Give me 20 bucks, I'll pay for a room. What about your friend? Maybe we can have a party. No, just me. Whatever you say. Park your car around the back. I'll leave the door to the room open. What is your name? Meg. Meg. It's a very nice name, Meg. A hundred dollars be enough, Meg? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Because you're going to earn it. Come <laughs> on. 